<laughs> I look forward to the album, that's for sure. Wow. Literally. Um, what do you fear? Any fear anything? He's a quiet killer. Yeah, sorry. Don't want me to spill your vagina. I mean, Jesus, I mean, I don't mind going deep, but you want me to go submerging <laughs> into the fucking ocean hey, there. we're only doing What's just, going on? It's just, just the precursor. What fears? <laughs> Come on, what fears? What fucking fears? What, what All gives, over the national. Yeah, go on, what, what, gives you, what gives you the EBs? Come on. Mm, what gives me the EBs? All right, so, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, so. Um, oh, we're going deep. Go on. Violins, guys. Okay. I've got the, this small one here. It's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> I don't know if this is the place to say it, but I'm going to touch on it. Whatever. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official dot com. Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer, killer. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer, killer, podcast. All righty, here we go again. Send it up to poll and see who salutes it. Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London. Central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be. Heaven forbid you be anywhere else. It'll be your own fault if you do so. Big shout out to all the followers. Uh, sharing, sharing and caring, doing all the good stuff for the community. And if you want more of that community, we've got the Television app. Free download, iPhone, Android. For all your street culture sports, you already know it. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear from streets to stage. Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. Inside the house today, people. We have a creative starburst. Britain is full of creativity. Uh, and uh, it goes without saying, we celebrate those creative starbursts that are parading around our streets and on our social media. This lady right here is what I could only describe as its own entity. She is a presenter, she's a creative, she's a content creator, she's a fan of fans, and uh, and her fans love her back. This is someone you need to get to know. America Foster inside the pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Well, I'm to them, Ooh, I had to tell them straight, didn't Come I? Come on, straight up. <laughs> How are you nice today? Introduction. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? You weren't expecting that no, one. No, I weren't. I weren't. I weren't. I weren't. That was a long line. It's like, rah. He's really been tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dialed in, dialed in from the jump. Such a tour de force you are, my dear. Like, it's so nice to see, like, elevated front camera action and everything just plays into the mindset. Like, you tell it how it is and everyone... We can't, we can't, we can't mix words. We can't mix words. Mix words whole and why. Right, right. So here's the first question, and I know a lot of them are going to be asking this. For those of you that don't know about this lady, you need to go and check it out on Instagram and all other platforms. Right, so you're in your house. <laughs> and suddenly something comes to mind. Yeah. What's the process? Like, what, is this just a conjuring of... Uh, zeitgeist moments of things suddenly happening in your life and you're just like no no, no i've got to talk about this so it's a combination <laughs> okay. i'm not gonna lie so it's like something could be at the forefront mm -hmm. like something could be active in my life 100 percent. Right. but then also i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna keep it real social media does definitely add because like even the quote sometimes mm. just the quotes itself mm. sometimes they're just like they're they're invoking something in me. And it's like, hold on. I have something for see about this. I have something for see about this. Get up and rise up and go do something and read one book or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, And I don't know, the Jamaican, um, when the patwa comes out, I feel like it's just when I'm most passionate mm. about something. Mm. So it's just like a combination of, okay, I've got a message, mm. but I want to deliver it in a way where it's digestible. Mm -hmm. Also, it feels authentic to me, like... I don't know, I just quickly grab the phone, put it up there, do what I need to do. One or two takes, I'm not going to lie, I'll keep it real. It's, if it's not on the first take, I'll do it again. But the f the the one that goes up is never like the first yeah, cock up, of course. so to speak. And that's it really, I'm just out here, you know what I mean? Just little cut and paste, little, little switching. Yeah, some... never, never cut and pasting. Really? No, 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 no. I never, I never edit, really. I've got like one or two videos that I've edited like when I've done voiceovers, mm. for example, like if I've got someone in the background of the video, mm. that's me as well. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the voices that you hear It's kind of me. overdubbing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only time I edit. Otherwise, if you see me just in the camera, mm. that was just something that I just decided to do in that moment. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how I mean, we're getting into the nuts and bolts. This is not your business, you understand, but we are <laughs> going to talk about this. Like, so, so you, 
you have these moments where, of, you know, bring, oh, right, I'm going to talk about that. Does, do you have a think tank of like, well, how am I going to orchestrate that? Can you visualise it? A little bit, yeah. I think it takes me a couple minutes before, some things take me a couple minutes before I press record, like a freestyle, for example. Mm. A freestyle, it's like I'll sit there for maybe a, f- a few seconds in my head, like, okay, I'll get the first line. I'll get the first line. And once I've got the first line solidified in my head, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just press record and let's go. Mm. And then everything else comes. It's like a level of ADHD. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, sh- crazy shiz go on inside <laughs> this your head. This head is mad, trust me. So when you're, okay, so let's, let's, let's look at the, 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 out of the, the family mm. and uh, your parenting and, and when, not your parenting, but your parents in the room. Like they must have at some point heard that you were, you were active, busy doing these things. Oof. Like they must have seen this coming a mile off. Listen. <laughs> With the family thing, it's a it's a mwah, mwah, mwah. really yeah, it's bad. I'm they not ain't lie. in it. They're not in it. No, do you know what it is? Um, so I grew up with my aunt and uncle. Okay, and they just I don't know if it's I don't know if I should call it strict or if it's just old school mentality where. Mm. My wife forget her bank job. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, it, proper job, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper job, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, I've always been this person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Bad from a barn, bad till mm-hmm. I'm gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is going like to be me all, all, all session here. I'm just going to be just giggling away. This is, this is, this is a privy, you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, literally, like, they just, I don't feel like they saw it. They didn't see it. And then when the TikTok and the Instagram started doing what it was doing, yeah. I still don't think they really understood it until when they were in Jamaica and people in Jamaica were like, oh my God, America's famous! <laughs> She's famous! Until then, you would not, you'd like, stop doing it. As soon as you're famous, carry on, carry no, on. No, but even still. Really? They just didn't give it any mind. Didn't it's mind like, it. they didn't really care about it. But that doesn't faze me, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know who I am, I know my worth, I know what I'm about, do you know what I mean? So, without a doubt, I'm going to do it, I'm going to scream and shout, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to pursue it like I know how to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Literally, didn't care. I didn't still care. don't. And shouldn't either, because this is part of the, the remit of, like, anti-culture. Anti... Because yeah. our... And this is what we have to remind ourselves. When we're, when we're doing something, quote-unquote, rebellious like this, because I was the same in beatboxing. Mm. Like, it was like, if I had a quid for every time I... My dad would say, stop doing that. Yeah, you'd Jimmy. be flipping a millionaire yeah. by now, yeah. But you want to do it more. Yeah, just. Just to, just to prove them wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, what we do is we rebel against the, the older rebels. Yeah. And that's so funny because as, as we get older, and I hate the idea of my peers and anybody close to me growing up, but it's just fact. And then you be, they become your um, opponent, they become your enemy. I don't I say, hmm? enemy, they can't be my friend. <laughs> no, man. No, it's no. not the one. no. It's mad. Uh, so, and what? what See, so because you do, you you envelop everyone around you as well. Like your friends, I mean, they must see that. It, it must be like you walk into a room or something that just smells a bit off, and they already know. Oh, America's gonna. Oh yeah. Fun. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like my energy is strong. Mm-hmm. My energy is so strong, and I've I've started to really become aware of it yeah. because I see how it can affect other people if I'm not in the right energy. Oh, talk to me about that. So like if I'm pissed off yeah. or if someone's done something to jar me or whatever yeah. and it's really shifted my energy from yeah. being at a high like ADHD springing off the walls type yeah. of energy to low, reserved, yeah. in myself, more observant, yeah. people... I find that more people start falling into that energy as well. Really? Yeah, and I have to be really careful because it's like I tend to isolate myself when I'm low. So I don't. I try not to be around people when I'm really low mm. because I notice that it brings other people. They don't know how to handle it because they're so used to the big character. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They're so used to the loud bubbliness, mm. all of that sort of stuff. That when I am reserved or quiet or in my shell mm. or observing or whatever mm. it is or just plain blank, simple, pissed off. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, they don't yeah. know how to handle it. So it's a, it's a level of um, expectation that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Really. Facts. Yeah, really? like and that's been. Like a lifetime thing for me. Really? Yeah. It's sad, but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I can't imagine... Because everyone has to have their respite. This is it. But I don't know how... To people... switch it off. No, no, no. I don't know how people can't clock that within me. I feel like... 
people like me as well mm. that I've had conversations with, we all have this commonality. In, like we have this in, in common in it like I can't think right now I'm using words that I don't think I've ever used before man say like, commonality what the fuck okay. <laughs> see I don't bring it like that you know what I mean we get deeper over here huh? get your dictionary out uh-huh. <laughs> Um but yeah um, I feel like a lot of people that are like me find um, that yeah there's no respite for us People, it's almost like we're aliens. Mm. It's like the expectation, like you said, Mm. there's an expectation. They don't know how to, in their mind, separate the fact that this person, yes, they are a persona Mm. or they have the energy that they can get, they can give life, Mm. but they also are human. It's like, it's like the humanity, human aspect, sorry, comes away from, do you know what I mean? Which is... Yeah, again, sad, but it is what it is, I guess. you just got to move with the punches. You do, yeah. you do, absolutely. Switch it on when necessary. When you define what's... Ne- how, how far do you go depending on what's necessary? That's the other thing as well. Because if you're going to a launch where people are expecting you to, you know, and, uh, yeah, it just may not be the, the vibe. Yeah. You have to bring the vibe. Yeah. So, personally, I'll give you, I'll give you my honest truth. Mm. So, if I'm feeling a little bit shaky, a mm. mm. little bit anxious, mm. or just not my full self... Mm have a drink I will have a drink and mm. I think that is the problem in our scene as well like mm. a lot of us deal with like whether it's mental health or just anxiety on itself mm. or whatever the feeling is that is on a lower frequency to what people are expecting I feel like we end up in the alcoholisms mm. and all of those type of things the vice. Try- yeah the vice whatever the vice may be mm. to make ourselves present Mm. in those moments you know what I mean yeah. I do find that I've I've fell into that but I'm now in a period where I'm juggling and trying to work out and navigate a way to not fall into that oh, it's a hard one it's hard yeah. so like I me, mean, I'm not gonna lie I'll have my little have my little juice mm. but only one now I've never seen you drink yet this is what I'm saying thank you I Killer, 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 killer. Tell them with them facts. more. What? So you never got to worry tell about. Them, you never got to worry about America. What? She's good. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> tell them. They don't know, man. Nah. I have this argument with a few people as well because people like because I've done that because I've gone to events and if I'm not feeling myself, I might have one drink. Yeah. Or and I babysit drinks as well. Like yes. people that know me know me know I babysit a drink. Mm-hmm. Like. And I'll even have ice in it as well. So it waters it down as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a babysitter. And that one drink that you see me have at the beginning of the night could be the same drink I'm having at the middle of the night. Mm, Do you know what I mean? So people have come up to me and been like, told me about how I'm an alcoholic. I'm like, excuse you, you're right, fierce damn blood clot stink, but coming on a blood clot alcoholic. Okay, I have one juice and then water sparkling. Sparkling water gets do you, a bit of Do you chuck that? Yeah, cool. Oh, 100%. It's banging. Your best friend is after the night. Get a bottle of water down, yeah. Yeah. Gold. Beautiful. <sighs> Different. Slice of lem- uh, lemon and cucumber in the morning. Yeah. If you're dying, just gave you a tip there, guys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, these tips, this is experience talking mm. here, you know. Like, you know, as much as you are out the gate, bang. Where did America come from? They, you know, you've caught, you've caught the attention of, you know, people like Spliff Star and people like coming, was it Whose Daughter's This or something? It was fucking <laughs> fantastic. Like, come on, oh man. Oh my gosh, you've really been on my page. I love <laughs> oh, it. Man. My fans. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, I love I it. it. You know, spontaneous dances in the middle of shopping malls and yeah, stuff. You know, come on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, I think there's a, I think there's a, 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 a youth in all of us, no matter what age you are, where Facts. you just want to let fucking go, especially nowadays. Yeah, right? man. Yeah. And I feel like, do you know what? Whoever told you to grow up is a prick. Excuse <laughs> my French. Tip that. Like, because real. it's like, we're all big kids. Mm. We are all big kids. And I feel like channeling our inner child isn't a detriment. If anything, it's something that can, you know, accelerate you, motivate you, mm. give you some like mm. oomph. But it's fresh energy as well. Yeah, man. Children are f- full of vibes as well. Yeah. Children are full of vibes. I think crackheads, children, and yeah, that's probably it. Crackheads and children. Hold on. Like, <laughs> Hold on. Wait, uh, crackheads? Yeah. El- yeah. Elaborate more. Listen, I tell people I'm the crackhead without the crack. Yeah? Because crackheads, if you see crackhead videos online, yeah. they're full of energy. If they're not spitting, they're dancing for bread. They're doing something. Do you know what I mean? They're always active. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, and they're actually 
a lot of the time, nice people yeah, as well, yeah, like yeah. really down to earth, nice people that are just falling into like some real rough times. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I celebrate crackhead, crackheadery. But you, but I, I, and listen to a degree, obviously. Without getting too deep, there is a correlation, especially with how we are as people mm. and creatives. Yeah. And. You can almost fall, you can see where the fault lines are with, you know, crackheads, for instance, where you're just like, you know what I mean? I'm like four degrees of separation from where you are, my friend. I completely understand how you got yourself into that pickle. Facts. It's true, isn't it's it? Facts. It's facts. It's 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 scary. It's a scary thought sometimes. Yeah. But it's facts. Yeah. Hundred percent. With your career as it is, and you know, comes this ever increasing popularity and then your next thing you're you're moving up a level you know you can have a drink and even like you say you nurse it mm. probably the best way to be because the next morning you've got a 101 emails exactly. whatsapps yeah kels wants me to come podcast or well, hold on a minute i've got channel four over here wanting it me depletes to depletes your energy and your yeah. ser- serotonin man yeah it proper depletes it I, I i personally can't do it anymore mm, really like, yeah yeah yeah. it's not really for me drinking was never really for me no, i used right. to i was a smoker mm. do you know what i mean mm-hmm. more on that than Drinking, to be honest, so yeah, yeah. It hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it it's a lot. Like, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Me too. I guess really don't like that feeling. Even when like during, and mm. then the next day, I oh, um, forget it. It's so personal to me that the idea of just being hungover and uh, out of kilter, and and even during it being out of control, I have to ask myself why, why, why? Yeah, did why I did I do, I do it? it? Yeah. yeah, it's almost like self sabotage and self abuse. Yeah, it's like yeah. But even when you you know you're in your urine or something, you're thinking to yourself, it's like that's no, fine. I'm fine. I'm only four drinks. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. But it's not. It's not. It's, not. it's fully not. It's fully. If you have to, if you have to have that conversation <laughs> with yourself, you know, there's you know you're right. in trouble. You're in trouble at that point. Hundred <laughs> percent. Absolutely. Oh, it just gets worse, doesn't it? Um, but you know, modelling, mm. which you do, uh, being about, and also. To TV, all these things that you know lean towards an ever uh, pressurising. I've got to be looking sharp. I've got to be pre- presented in a particular way and stuff like that. I mean, I know it doesn't. It's water for ducks back for America, trust me. But it's 100%. very, it's very interesting how the the psyche. It's almost like when you know you're meant to be doing something the appropriate way. There's a little demon in you that wants to do the opposite. Yeah, right? facts, hundred percent. Like I'm, I'm a little bit rebellious in that sense. Like even when it comes to makeup and stuff, mm. I was even contemplating. Oh, do I do my makeup to come on this podcast this morning? Them ones, like, mm. like even little things, like he said with the presentation mm. and stuff. It's like, am I really? Get- oh fuck it, let me just do it. Cause yeah. you, know, yeah, yeah. you just never know. Do yeah, you never know how people. Someone in the comment section will be like, "Oh my god, is she alright? Mm. Oh my god, mm. oh, she looks a bit ill." Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> you know what's funny about social media, and it's something that only occurred to me recently, and that's um. Those platforms, we won't mention too many of their names. You'll see it. You'll see it on these platforms as well. But um, it's the idea of people that Joe Public deal with feelings as opposed to facts. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. And I feel like people might not like me for saying this, but it's been said already. So if I get it. spicy, go it's on. It's like. This new gen, and I know that I'm kind of a part of it in a sense. Right. But this new gen is really sensitive. Super sensitive, aren't they? It's extremely. It's like, I remember growing up and things like Family Guy and South Park and all these crude shows couldn't even, like, even Flipping Balls are still, for example. Yeah, yeah. Like, those type of shows. Yeah, like can't phase us. That shit was fucking funny. That was real. <laughs> that was real. The best. It was hilarious. Jackass. Yeah. Give me the f- God knows how many movies. I'm Do you know down. what I mean? Like, absolutely amazing. Even things like Catherine Tate and yes. um, Little Britain yes. and all them type of things. Like, taking the piss out of the things that people are too scared to take the piss out of. But we mm. all think these things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, now, everyone's balls deep in their feelings. And rightfully so, obviously, because there are some things... Mm that need to be addressed 100%. Like some, sure. some things do need to be uh, put to the surface. But then at the same time, like, come on, man. Mm. Like, You're closer to the fire than me, for sure, when it comes to, you know, the, the new generation. And uh, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? What, 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 where's that sensitivity? And um, as I say, you know, facts come out, go out the window. It's more uh, emotional, isn't it? I think um, it definitely stems from, like, some sort of, like lack of understanding or space to be heard in mm. 
your childhood, I think. Ooh. I think it stems from like a childhood thing. You reckon? And then maybe like even in school, like maybe your voice wasn't heard. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And mm. now people are like putting their foot down. And now that they've seen other people doing the same thing, it's like forming alliances, mm. feeling a bit stronger to mm. voice their opinions, mm. feeling stronger to voice their feelings and stuff because now these alliances will back them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, right. They can't. They don't have the strength to say it themselves based on facts they don't know. So therefore, they have other people saying it for That's them. That's it. It's like they'll just make a throwaway statement mm. and that throwaway statement will resonate with somebody that actually knows mm. more about maybe psychology or something. Yeah. And then that person will now nitpick with that one throwaway uh, statement and be like, no, what they actually meant was, and guys, you really need to be looking, we need to give people grace with this and we need to do this. Yes. It's like... I don't know if they meant that, but yeah. I hear what you're saying. And I think it just goes to, it goes down like a rabbit hole. Yeah. I think um, the trolls, mm. I think a lot of the trolls definitely added to a lot of this um, kind of like expression sort of thing. Because mm. they were the first ones to really do it. I think. Mm. I think they were Comment the first Comment below, of course. <laughs> yes, you will. Yeah. I think the troll, y'all trolls were the first ones to yeah. do this, okay? Y'all <laughs> open the floodgates and after y'all open your mouth, that's what happened, okay? That's what happened. So y'all open your mouth. Now everybody want to talk about their feelings and shit, okay? <laughs> so if you don't like this, we're about to get in even deeper on this because do you feel like... And again, as an observer, you understand this isn't you know this isn't facts. You know what I mean? Uh, this is more observations. Do do you feel like some of the things that they lean generations lean on uh, as being uh, easily could easily be manipulable, controlled by the people that they're leaning on for some sort of governing or or some sort of um, trust? Yeah, definitely. You know? I think I think. Um things have definitely been manipulated and some things have gone a stretch too far. I would definitely say first thing top of my mind that I can think of and something that I could probably speak on is like the city girl lifestyle. Mm. Ooh. Girls, I mean, girls. Act one, scene girls, two. Girls, girls. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I almost fell into it myself. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I like, find that incredibly hard to believe. Especially when you get fucked over by a guy. Okay. I think that is the that is the starting point for a female. When you get fucked over by a guy right. and then you speak to your other girlfriends, like we formed the alliance. Yes, yes. Now we're all bitching yeah. and sharing experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's like, nah, fuck this. Let's go outside with our nipples out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, but then you don't want to be objectified and all mm -hmm. these different things. Mm -hmm. Like I, I completely hear it. Mm. Dress how you want to dress in it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do feel like it's been manipulated to an extent that is out of our control now. 100%. Do you know what I mean? I feel you. Um, and I don't think the psychology is being deeped. Like, we're deep in feelings and stuff, but mm. are we really deep in the real life, like you said, facts? Yeah. The real psychology behind these things? Mm -hmm. I don't think we are. I think if we took a little bit more time to just keep it real, stop doing the yes man thing. Mm. Ooh, there we stop go. Stop doing the yes man thing. The yes man thing don't get anyone anywhere. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Elaborate on that. A yes man, give me... A yes man, so scenario, what is it? No, so We know what a yes man is, okay. but the scenario so far as um, city girl and 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 just going along to get along so, in a yes man kind of way. Like, if one of your girls are quote unquote doing too much, mm. but she's hurting from a situation, instead mm. of you actually sitting her down and saying, look, I love you mm. and I know you're hurting right now. And I know you want to just like let yourself be free. Yeah. And I'm here for that. Yeah. But and that's the thing. It's a but. It's mm -hmm. like, but I feel like I should bring this to your attention so that you can see that maybe this will be detrimental to who you're trying to be, mm. what you're trying to be mm. and what you want out of life. I rate that so hard. Do you know what I mean? Because some of you, some of the most important people aren't always your friends. This is it. And you've got to be careful of who you've got around you mm. because those people will enable you to do things that are destructive for your life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's a that's the wrong type of person. That's a yes man. Someone that's just going to be like, yeah, yeah, yes, to everything you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. To Cheerleading all yeah. these emotions. Everything. Yeah. Never, ever telling you, do you know what? Actually, I think you need to rethink that. Mm. Or actually, maybe you need to look at it from this perspective. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Like no one... 
I, I don't really feel like a lot of people are doing it, to be honest. No. I feel like, yeah, the yes man culture is very strong. And I feel like people that have numbers have a lot of yes men. Yeah, they like, do. And that's one of the things that I've been... That's why I keep myself to myself quite a lot. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared of having the wrong people around me to just tell me yes, 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 yes. Yeah. When it's actually... Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It elevates it elevates things to a new level. People that break up with you know long term relationships, partners, and, mm. and it can be. This is the most sensitive time for a person, isn't it? You know? Facts. And if you have got a lot of numbers and people all running them up saying, you, "Yeah, but you deserve better," or you know, "Let's go out and do something X, Y, Z." You know, that can really. It's gonna. It's hard to get shed that once. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Like even when I've been through something like that, I try and. If I'll try and stay within a certain circle of people mm. that I know aren't going to lead me astray. If anything, they're going to listen to me mm. and just be that ear. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. if I am doing something that's too much or if I'm doing something that's a bit destructive, they do challenge me, mm. which I appreciate. I love that. I love that about my people. Like, they, they will hear me, mm. but if they think that my thought process, I'm running with it a bit too much, they'll be like, America, I love mm. that. Mm. I hear where you're coming from and I know why you're saying that. But, mm. and I love that, mm. they challenge it. So Well, it sharpens your sword. So you put out a piece of content, for instance, and you'd give it a little bit more time and respect before pushing a button because you know that not only people are watching, but you can't go back on a statement, which no, is another facts. thing, right? And even with saying that, like, my captions, I, give my, I sit on my captions for a minute. Mm. Like, even one of, my, um, one of my boys asked me, how do you do it and how long does it take you? I'm like, bro, I just, I just write. Once I start, I don't stop. It probably take me like between half an hour and an hour mm. to write a caption. Like when I've got one of those big mm. cough yeah, captions yeah, yeah. that I have, because it's like, and even in those captions, I've started doing a PS and a PSPS. Mm -hmm. Right. Reason why I've started doing the PS and PSPS is because sometimes I feel like I have to give a little bit more insight to what I'm actually saying in the first initial caption because mm. some people misconstrue what you're trying to say. All the time. All the time, which is, it is what it is. But mm. yeah, I, I feel I like I feel like I have to, you know, over elaborate sometimes just for the people that miss and let things go over their head and only see what they want to see. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And when you're in the public eye, it's very easy to build misconceptions and people misunderstanding what you're, the purpose of what you're doing and the intention of why you're saying yeah, it. Yeah, the message. Literally, I don't want the message to be misconstrued. I try, like, it still will be, mm. 100%, but I try my best. Mm. I do my part. Once I've done my part and I've put my energy into that segment... It's like, I know I've done the best that I could to let others understand what I'm trying to say. If they don't understand what I'm trying to say, then unfortunately it's a them problem. It's, it's a not them really, problem. It's not really my fault. There's a lot point. of them problems out there, isn't oh, there? Oh, 100%. And, 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 I mean, I don't ever sense, even in the comments, any degree of pushback from your crowd. Your crowd seem to accept you for exactly what, you know, it does what it and says I on the team. I love y'all. Yeah. I love y'all so much. <laughs> I love y'all so much. But there is one post, though. Don't get twisted. There is... I'll show you after. Okay, yeah? okay, okay. There is one post that... I don't know if it... Polarising. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I want to say... I don't want to go too hard with the words, but I'm going to say it. I think it was incels that was coming for me. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like, the point wasn't to trigger nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was me just venting, essentially. Um, at that time, I'd gone through something. And the way that my mind figured out a way to speak on this topic yeah. was relatable. Mm. And it wasn't direct. It was a little bit indirect. It was a bit of a... Well, what's she? Who's she talking about? Or oh, what's she talking about? Or oh, where's this coming from? Yeah, yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And that happens too. So when and when you leave it like that, I feel like that's when you get the negative comments mm. because you're leaving it too open for them to decide what this is. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And what it, what you're actually trying to say? Mm. So, never, never let them create their own interpretations. Yeah, man. Don't let them create their own narrative. Yeah. Don't, because it is very messy. You can't clean that mess up. But it's very hard to keep a, a straight line, isn't it? No, f facts. It's difficult. It's difficult. And sometimes that's the thing that stunts my um, activity, I would say. Well, that you by bypass even post anything for like four days yeah. just so that you don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even weeks settle. at a time sometimes. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if you have a little scroll, there's, it's been a few times, not ma many, many times and not for too, too long, but you'll see like there's a few times where... 
oh, she's had a little break here, she's had a little break there. Because it just, it gets, I'm too real for the fucking field, man. Yeah. Like, I'm too real for the field. We'll talk. We'll talk. Um, but what's great as well is that, you know, it's, it's warranted. It's like, that social media side of it, which is what we're predominantly talking about now, is it's a lot, isn't it? It's, oh, you know, it is. And you're 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 doing so much more creative stuff, but this it, this vehicle becomes your you know you're constantly servicing it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, or having to flip and change the oil or something, mm-hmm. or having to just rev the engine once and once in a while just to make sure the engine still works. And yeah, yeah it is a lot, mm-hmm. but you find a way to navigate. I do find that it can be. If you haven't got the right mindset, mm. you can get lost easily. Dude, you just, I mean, people just do. They, It becomes their 360 their whole life, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's fine because I get it. A lot of people are making their money from that. It's their livelihoods. Mm. I fully hear it. Mm. I'm a part of that kind of uh, bracket myself. But at the same time, I feel like you have to find a balance because mm. life is life. Mm. Social media is social media, mm. which is not real. Mm. It ain't real. I think your family plays a big part in that, though. You know, that, like you say, the upbringing of reasonable oh, yeah. strictness. You know yeah. I mean, like, I feel like the reason why I am the way on, uh, like, Instagram and TikTok, and just in general, really, mm. is because I was um, pacified. Ooh, yeah. yeah. All right. I was pacified mm. heavily, mm. where it's like, I could be upstairs laughing my head off. America, why the- <laughs> Shut the fucking hell up! <laughs> she probably wouldn't say fucking hell, but. <laughs> Shut the Friggin', why are you laughing so hard? And it's like, well, I'm enjoying life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you're not allowed to be too loud. You wasn't allowed, I wasn't allowed to be myself in a sense. Or even when it came to certain debates, it's mm. like, because I'm the youngest, mm. even uh, out of my siblings. Because you've got baby. brothers, right? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got brothers. And a sister, actually. Because um, I'm the youngest, I'm the baby. It's like, my words aren't considered or heard, but mm. I know that I can see that it resonates because mm. they know I'm not t- talking bullshit, mm. but they don't like that fact. Mm. You know what I mean? Because you've, you've managed to amass so much information from your siblings. and I'm a, I was observant from young. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, in any environment, there's that low side of me, the yeah. observant side, and mm. then there's the side that's putting on a performance. When I go into that low observant side, I'm seeing everything. Yes. And, not, and even when I am in that, ADHD spirally yeah. kind of thing. It's like I'm still sponging. I'm still picking up on energies mm. and vibrations mm. and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Like I don't want to. Okay, okay. Hold that thought for a second. What, what as a sponge or people do you mostly have affliction with? Like that you know, oh yeah, I'll get on with them. Like the moment you see me, like yep, yeah, it's on, and that sponge comes into play. Um. So. Like positive sponging, mm. um, I would say at the moment is one of my best friends, Aaron. Like whenever I see him, me and him dance, like yeah. that's one of our vices, mm. like healthy vices, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Whenever we put on music and dance, it's like the whole world just disappears. She can dance too, you know? There's, there's a lot going on around here. Yeah. Um, someone like Cheyenne Reynolds. Okay. I love her, man. Mm-hmm. I love her to bits. Like mm-hmm. she's she's been a a real solid person mm. that I've met in the industry, you mm-hmm. know, uh, kind of even gives me hope mm. for some of the people that are out here doing their thing. Do you know what I mean? Like a meter of that's the way you want to. Yeah. Like yeah. not even that's the way I want to be. It's like, that's how we should all be carrying ourselves. Like yeah. how we can interact. Me and Cheyenne, for example, mm. it's like, if only all of us could interact like this, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If only all of us could be genuine like this mm. and real, to some level, I understand that we're putting on shows 100% and not everyone is our friend, 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like there's a star quality in some people yeah. and star quality comes with like being able to be pers- uh, personable mm. with everybody that you meet, do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. And just give off them good vibes, you know? A thousand percent. So, yeah, those two people off the top of my dome, there's definitely other people, but those are my my um immediates yeah those two are my my main immediates the magnets yeah yeah literally and like you said you got you got your your, your brothers and your sister so what was your influences going on because you're just gonna be into the Ooh, typical questions yeah this is this is the vibe so like what did you go up on what was it what was the what was the lick of the day what so was it? do you know what um i uh i've got a problem so <laughs> <laughs> i don't like to follow the crowd I can't stand it. I hate it. Like That's the one. even down to oh, I'm gonna flip and expose myself. <laughs> 
No, I can't say that one. I can't say that one. But like, there's certain things I still haven't watched to this day. Say that one. I can't, I can't, because I'm even interviewing some big people from it. So I can't do it, I can't do it. But I need to do my research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is built on facts. We do not just drop things out willy-nilly. No, we've got to do flipping research, big man, straight up. So, um, yeah, like, I don't like following hype. It took me years to watch certain shows. Yeah, me like, too. I don't 100%. like, like when everyone's talking about one thing. I distance or, that. Yeah, I distance yeah. from it. Everyone's buying one particular crep. I distance from it. I'll go and yeah. find something different. Yes. Um, if everyone's listening to the same type of song or music or album, mm. I kind of distance from that as well. Oh, and I take my time. Yeah. I will do it in my time. I don't want the influence of everyone. The yes men. Yes. Saying, oh my God, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. To infiltrate my own thought it's too process. much hype. You can't get your own... Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, my brothers, their, t- their music inspirations, because they all... It was all quite similar. Mm. Bar one. One was more leaning towards like the bashment and mm-hmm. I kind of resonated with that mm-hmm. side of stuff. Of I, like, I was like, Vibes Cartel Cal- from, the, from the get-go, from oh, the get-gizzy go. And I don't know how it. at 12 I was listening to Vibes Cartel, but anyways, we move. <laughs> um, but um, my other brothers, they would listen to like heavy um, rap mm-hmm. culture mm-hmm. from the States. Mm-hmm. Nice. So mm-hmm. we're talking like M&Ms mm-hmm. and all of them. T- like I didn't understand it when I was mm-hmm. younger because mm-hmm. it was too hard for mm-hmm. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the things. When I was younger, it was a bit too hard. Come I was on. a bit more like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? This was like more low tone. What yeah. The- but as I got to like 15, 16, mm-hmm. those kind of ages there, mm-hmm. I started to really, really appreciate what they used to listen to. Mm-hmm. So then I used to go back to even grime as well. So there was the American side and then there was a lot of grime. So one yeah. of my brothers who was close to my age, he was heavy on the grime. He would listen to Skepta, JME, all of these people. And at that time for me, mm. I was just like, everyone's on it. I don't want to be on it. Mm. I don't want to be what I want on it. Do you know what I mean? I feel you. I but feel then you. I took my time and started to find mm. my own love. Mm. And now I've, I know what artists I love yes. in those genres. Like, and you're not I'm, overhyped with it. Yeah, or, like I'm not mm. overhyped. I find that it's a more genuine connection between me and the artist that I'm mm. listening to. Like Getz, for example, I Oh, well, that's that's we saw guests. It, yeah, it that's why some, I was that's why I was vibing like that. Yeah, big up chip shop. Uh, we, yeah, we were there, and dude, like, it was so wicked to see Skepta so close to us, like performing. Skepta. And, oh, sorry, Gets. <laughs> it was so. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was sick. It like was he sick. was, he was this close to, and for a second there, it was so. It was so personable. You forgot how long it was on for. Yeah, it was so it was intimate. Everything. It was such an intimate setting and I loved that. I loved it. And what I loved as well, there was no one, even if, because there was a couple of people in the crowd that were actually really big fans of yeah. him that I was aware of mm. as well. And I, I even appreciated how they moved around him mm. because some people can do the, the, the over the top stuff. like, mm. And I've never really been somebody to... I've never been somebody to kiss somebody that I appreciate or someone that I see mm. as amazing their ass. I've yeah. never kissed anyone's mm. ass because at the end of the day, everyone pisses, shits and bleeds mm. just the same. Mm-hmm. And I appreciated how those people moved in those envi- in that environment, so to speak, and didn't over like overstimulate someone like gets do you know what i mean yeah. or overwhelm him, do you know what i mean? There's no need for it. Like no. it was it was a very intimate setting. Everyone was in can go say yeah well go on that was sick well done yeah, bro yeah. and keep it moving mm. and I like that kind of energy it's mm. like give people their flowers but don't be sucking their dick in the corner yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah I feel you yeah. I feel you but we, we're sticking on this because um, not the sucking dick bit but <laughs> but, but but you know referring back to Skepta actually Gets no no oh, Skepta okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no no amazing. so there is a distance now yeah. with the likes of uh, Skepta and you know Dizzy maybe in part I mean, for sure with, with, with Skepta, because he now does the DJ dance house stuff, which kind of, you know, it, it pole vaults him into this stadium status of as a DJ. You know, never mind Boiler Room or whatever. You know, he's going stratospheric. Going clear, man. Yeah. Do you feel like there is a, you know, what you were brought up on or got to know over time, do you feel like there is that seismic separation between what... what nah. how, you think it's better? I think it's like... I wouldn't say that it's better. I wouldn't say that it's better. I feel like they're they're two entities, hundred percent. But I feel like it's um, 
I saw him say something the other day where it's like, if you really, really fuck with music, mm. then that means you must fuck with house. And that's a fact. It's a fact. It's fucking when true. I was younger, mm. my brothers as well, like yeah. I used to have this kind of debate with them. Like I'd be listening to, like mm. I said, all this kind of music, mm. dancey, more dancey mm. music. And they were on this whole slower tempo, mm. storytelling, real talk mm. music. And it's like, they couldn't, they couldn't relate to what I was listening to. I couldn't relate to what they were listening to. But both of them kind of coincide. Yes. And there's elements of each in each. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I personally love what Skepta's doing right now. I think it works for him so well. It really does, doesn't it? It, it suits him so well, man. Him and him and Jamma are doing their thing yeah, right yeah. now. And well played Mas as well. Mas tiempo. Yeah, Great but... stuff, man. Best time for house music, in my humblest opinion, is New Year's Eve. Mm. And you stick a Carl Cox on or, you know, any of the contemporaries and you're just going for it and you're just like, yeah, this is fucking great. That's when you discover real music. Yeah, it's when you're facts. in that zone of don't be prohibited on what the genre is and what mood you've got to be in. It's like if, if it works, it works. It's on. And if you actually really do appreciate music, I feel like you can open a whole box for yourself in the sense of like. There's so many samples. Mm that come from some tracks that you would not expect. Real talk. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, if you ain't got the ear for it, that's fine. But you you got to appreciate all types of music mm-hmm. because there's ways that you can take elements, like I said, with the grime and the, the house, like there was elements yeah. that were coinciding. Every genre can help a genre. Do you know what I mean? All day. Like... So yeah, definitely. I think um, listening to the old school music, listening to things that are more contemporary, even jazzy music, all them type of things there. Mm. There's so many things that you can take from it and even create a new genre that hasn't even been tapped into yet. I mean, that's the beauty as well, right? Yeah, man. Because as technology moves forward, even the older genres get replenished with this idea of like, well, let's take it to the next... What can we do? Where can we take this? And those breaks are everything. Those samples are everything. And they start... Cherry picking, like you know, you this is why I love, I love what it. this is why I love what Skepta and Jam are doing right yeah, now because cool. like they were they're even remaking their own beats mm. into the house shit, and I love it. It's yeah. definitely it, yeah. It's un, it's undeniably gonna go off like milk. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's undeniably gonna go off like milk because a lot of their beats are notorious Mm. do you know what i mean Mm. so hearing that being flipped on a successful house track not just like any washed house track Mm. a successful house Mm. track you're gonna be going yeah but then you get these get scenarios where you know for instance skeptic could go and join that that space Mm. and all of a sudden he's playing his classics to a private audience Mm. and and that's the beauty that's the dynamic that you can play with when you go and switch genres, try different things and move Yeah, right? 100%. I love that shit. Um, presenting. Mm. Oh, we talked about the dance and the music. What are we presenting? Like, how do you... I know the answers to this, by the way. But it, was you... <laughs> it was an accident. It was an accident. I, I don't mean to get into it. It was an accident. But when you're, you know, prolific online and you're doing like, I don't know, for instance, a, 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 sky, a, a sky comedy or whatever, things like that. Yeah, get it, get it, go, get it, get it. Shy, I'm literally in a podcast right now. Do you want to say hello to the people, then? Hi. Hey, <laughs> Shy and Reynolds, we outside. We were just talking about you. We were just inside because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> Keller said we were just talking about you. Me? Yeah, <laughs> me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive things, you'll see. Oh, okay, I'm definitely watching that. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, enjoy. I'll give you a call after, yeah. All right. All right. America's the best. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. <laughs> and you know, this is a great example of America. Here. It's like y- you could have like the deck of cards to the highest point of you know fragility, and then they start falling down. You have a way of un picking up the pieces, reconstructing, and almost like there you go, ta da! Mm. Like that in itself is, and I think that's what creates presentation in a particular way, right? Hundred percent. I mean. Like I said, when you was given the intro to the presenting stuff, it was an accident. Mm. Like I never, I never thought I'd ever do presenting. Mm. It was something that maybe would have come with certain jobs, hundred mm. percent. Mm. But I didn't expect to fall into it. So I just kind of kept that whole accidental kind of mm. mm. energy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So like, even when I am interviewing people, 
I don't really have a script. It's I all don't freestyle. doubt that. It's I was going to ask that. You yeah. can't possibly. How how could you have a? No, it's all freestyle. Get a bit of back knowledge and then just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Literally. And sometimes I don't even get enough back knowledge. Sometimes mm. I f- end up fucking up, mm. but I make it funny. Like, yeah. and some no one's even noticed like my fuck ups yet, which is great. Like, if they have, no one said it in yeah. the comment sections. Um, wow. But yeah, definitely, definitely cocked up once or twice, hundred percent. But it's how you respond again. But back to the deck of cards. It's like how do you, how do you turn that into art, mm. right? I mean, it's like it's like, I guess performing. I haven't performed yet mm. with music or anything like that. But with performing, if you fuck up, you gotta keep going. Keep going. You gotta keep going. The show must go on. Yeah, literally. But that's through learning and process, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think it kind of comes from maybe that came from um, my performing arts um background because ah, i did performing arts nice. in college there you go see yeah. intel in this piece see what i'm saying like this ain't no run out of mill podcast <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah performing arts so. yeah so i think it definitely came stem from that that sort of training mm. you know like the show must go on and even just like watching documentaries and films and things mm. like that with um the behind the scenes of something Ooh, or a nice, show yeah. it's like yeah, you must you must keep it going. Like, there's no excuse. Like, even if your heel breaks and you got another mm. heel that's still healing, yeah. you got to keep it. You got a heel and toe now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got yeah, a heel yeah. and toe now. But also break the rule book. Yeah, Fucking do like things it. that are different, man. Like, yeah. there's no rule. There's literally hashtag Specs Gonzalez no rules. Come on, yeah. Come on, yes, there's no cool, rules. No. So even if you go to the academies and you're learning, you know, so you have that in your book box pull it out when you need it but overall break the rules yeah man yeah literally like they're to be they're there to be broken mm. and redefined who are the who who are the presenters that you earmark and you say you know she or he they 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 do good oh amelia dim moldenberg okay. Okay. by far <laughs> okay i love her like flowers credit all of that where it's due love it she's fantastic like Come anytime on. i speak to her Great energy as well. Mm-hmm. Like she's, she's, yeah, she's got that star quality. She's mm-hmm. got that star quality. She knows what she's doing. Even if she doesn't know what she's doing mm-hmm. behind the scenes, mm-hmm. she makes it look like she knows exactly what she's God, doing when the screen is there. Professional, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, man. She's, de- that's exactly what it is. She's, yeah. she's professional to a T. Like even in her um, quirkiness mm. and borderline quote unquote awkwardness like the character that she's got yeah i love how she carries it do you know Mm. what i mean i love how she carries it i love how she's able to get certain things out of her interviewee Mm. um that vulnerability becomes a charm yeah man she's sick she's sick she's definitely she flipped it from early and Mm. i think um, flowers of flowers yeah man she's definitely up there for me anyone else anyone else um i would say Let's try and go for a guy. There's, you know what there There's is. There's so many. There are so many. Because loads many, of people man. are popping through my head right now. Yeah. But um, not just in our genres, but like out the, you know, it's crazy. I do like. Um, I do like Louis. I do like Louis. There's something about his again sticking with the vulnerability thing. Yeah, like makes him approachable. Makes yeah, him connect. Definitely, mm. definitely. And he's he's also got a quirkiness about him mm. as well. Um, Do for rule day. Yeah, man, he's sick. He's mm. sick. He's sick. Mm. Them two definitely are up there for me. I think they're fantastic. Um, I can't think off the top of my head because they're all going round. It's like I've got loads of names flying through. Mm. I mean, even someone like Munya, like when he's doing his interviewing, I do love how he's able to like um, connect with the people as mm. well. Because it's like, obviously, he's this comedian guy that we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's this other side to him as well that yeah, can yeah. actually, like, be personable with these people that he's talking to. Do you know what I mean? It's funny you say that because, you know, comedy is the immediate breakthrough, isn't it? Like, if you're having a conversation and you make someone laugh or you know that you're expecting to have a laugh, then having those serious conversations make it a whole lot more easier, doesn't it? 100%. 100%. Do you think that, that plays in your strength, for sure? I think so, yeah, because it's like a lot of the things that I... um. I make funny. Mm. Are, it's real life shit. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's real life shit. So yeah. Definitely. How far is too far though? How far is too far? Yeah. Do you know I've been trying to work this out recently. I've been battling this within myself mm. because uh, with the family stuff, it's mm. like how much do I expose? 
yeah. essentially. Yeah. How much do I expose? So you're not coming to that Christmas party. We're not America. coming anyway. <laughs> keep all in a food and thing. Keep the presents. Yeah. We're not getting on anyway. Oh, well, you have a birthday? I don't seem to remember you being even here. <laughs> yeah. So let me just grab my juice. Yeah, let's get your juice. Um, you mentioned you, you echoed music and performing. Like, have you got, uh, is, is, there, is there music in your sights? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't talk too much, but... Someone been I, in the studio? Ah, the way. Yeah. Wicked. I've got things on my phone. Like, I've got I've got a lot of things in the background that's wow. been happening. I was even... Um, I don't know if I should say this, but I was uh, accidentally in the studio with Jamma <gasps> and I laid a little Saturn on a little housey thing. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Here. I doubt anything will happen with that. But we definitely, me and him definitely need to have a sit down conversation. Oh, aside from Jamal, because that's just like, that was just like a little random. Higher echelon, amazing moment in your life. Yeah, it was like, oh, was. come studio. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. After a party, after my jam's party, we just ended up going to studio. You know what I mean? Do you see what you're dealing with here? Yeah. But yeah, I have been in the studio. Um... Uh, just playing around really mm. like I'm a freestylist so that's been what I do like I'll go into a studio I'll get if there's a beat maker there mm. or if, if we don't have any beat makers and it's just a pirate thing mm-hmm. where we go to a pirate studio get some beats loaded up on YouTube and just see how long I can go for basically really? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 oh god I love that like, there's a couple where there was one time where I was freestyling um I was trying to find a sound within this sound that was being played through mm. the headphones, right? And it's like, what I was producing wasn't, it wasn't giving. I wasn't mm. feeling it, mm-hmm. yeah? And then I literally said in the track, I was like, fuck it, let me actually try, like, go in. Mm. And I started spitting, like, I don't know how many bars it was, but um, I was spitting about my life and, like, childhood shit. Freestyling it? Freestyled. That's to, incredible. To the point where... I got to a point where I had to stop because I cried. Like it invoked so much emotion, like real life emotion. I was like, <gasps> you can hear me in the background of the. Vo- of well, the... Please tell me, please tell me that's recorded. Yeah, so. yeah, I can, sh- I can yeah. show you in a sec, hundred percent. Cr- yeah. Real I got goosebumps stuff. as you were saying. That yeah, girl. man, that is incredible. Yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely something, hundred percent. Like, and I love it. I love the. You see, freestyling. I find so much freedom in it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like. I think it's so fun. It's so fun. Like, I find that sh- I struggle more with writing because now I'm going into myself, like, a lot more. Yeah, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Whereas when I'm freestyling, something like what I just described, mm. that doesn't happen often. Mm-mm. That happens, like, every now and then when I actually, like, freestyle. That, I felt in my gut. Mm-mm. Like, I, pu- I, I couldn't feel my, the rest of my body. I could just feel my gut. And it was like someone had punched me. Mm. And then when I started crying, it's like it was a release. It's crazy. Music is special and powerful. The vibrations and music is different. It's different. Different, it's, different. It's, it's differently. What, um, what's the time frame? You, you mentioned you, you, you had to re-up and say to everyone, oh, let's just go in properly, focus on this. What's the, what's the service time on that from going, for instance, you walked into a studio and you, you've just done something incredibly like out of your comfort zone, professional, in a Channel 4 news kind of way, mm. and then you just got to immediately jump into this creative space. How, what's, what's the time frame in that? Did it take like five, seven, ten minutes for you to get into the zone? Depends. It literally depends. Like, say, for example, what you just said, yeah. come from a Channel 4 thing, my vibe's probably going to be up. Mm. I'm probably going to be on a, on a 10. Yeah. yeah. So, instant. Mm, nice. It's not a... It would be a thing where it's like, if you want me to be storytelling about some real heartfelt shit, mm. that might take me a minute to go into that zone. Mm. But once I'm there, it's going to be... It would be best for us to... If, we've, if we're going to be doing two songs, for example, on that day, it's best for me to do the hype song first because mm. I've got that energy yeah. and then let me transcend into that. Yeah, to lower know. that tone that yeah, you Yeah, because if I start on that lower tone after coming from a high, mm. it's going to be hard for me to go back up mm. after that because now I'm feeling a lot of emotions. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, you know what I mean? I can, imagine, I can imagine an America Foster album being just like ladled with like comedy sketches through to like serious tunes, but every, every single element of it being spontaneous, which I guess warrants like all the other multimedia things coming together. This this is why someone like Eminem. Yes. I know that he's a controversial artist. Yeah, yeah. 
especially in this day and age. Mm. This 2023. But um 2024. Happy Christmas, by the way. Oh, we we approaching. <laughs> um, so I know he's controversial, but his style, mm. if we literally stick strictly stick on his style, he is somebody that can and little Wayne. Oh, those Lil two Wayne. people. Well, he's, so, he freestyles as well, which yes, is beautiful. This is why I could have love Lil Wayne. So you got these two people that are amazing mm. at pulling a story apart and putting mm. it back together in the same song. Yeah. But those artists can also have a, another track on a mixtape or an album that is just pure fire. Fire fart. Fire fart. <laughs> I'm saying fart, like where it's like. <laughs> It's gibberish, but it's the sickest yes. gibberish you've yes. ever heard in your life. And that's the comedic aspect. Yeah. So I find myself looking up to these two, especially mm. the most in music, because they've got that storytelling aspect, but then they've also got this comedic side where it's like they can actually touch on some real serious shit, mm. but in a way that makes you <laughs> literally that. You're just like... Oh do you think... Joe po- do you, listen, that's singling out people here, but but... If you're into if you're into rap and understand the processes and how it's created, you could really tell the difference. Like a lot of people can't tell when Wayne is, you know, farting or when he's actually being serious and yeah. got down on a piece of paper and started writing stuff. But that for me, that's the beauty of the f- f- ensemble of what he does because you can hear when he's gibbering it away, mm. and then something comes out and you're just like, "What do we never answer if it's private?" Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it just certain things that he'll say. He did this tune called I'm Single. Mm. I don't know if you heard that. It's fucking banging. And mm. and some of the, what he was saying from a, a point of view of somebody that is single, it was just profound. And you can't just write oh, that no, shit down. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. It was sick. It's def- definitely experience. Yeah, that was experience, time. yeah. Oh, God, definitely. Wayne all day. Yeah. Well, and, uh, do you know what I love about him as well? Yeah, there was one video that I saw where he was like, it's like they was playing him a track or like, no, no, no. I think they must have recited his verse or mm. something. He's like, oh, who's that? And there's like, it's you. He goes, oh, shit, I didn't know that was me. Shit, that goddamn, I must have forgot that shit. Oh, wow, freestyle that shit. That's the other beauty of freestyling as well. I freestyle yeah. that shit. Yeah, I never remember anything. Mm. So let me show you my phone actually quickly. Do it, do it. Oh. This is me on a regs. If I don't right. do this... Okay. okay, so what we're looking I at now... I not remember anything yeah these are these are voice notes and we're talking catalogues of voice notes right here and yeah this is just one phone so this is one phone there's another phone at home yeah. there's also my laptop yeah there's also my friend's phones mm. as well because some things haven't been sent to me yet yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of things are just there out there yeah wow because I'll be like, listen, record this. Like, especially if there's like, say for example, there's two more people here. Yeah. After this, we have a little jam mm, session. Mm, mm. It's like the second that I start, I'll, I'll, if I see a phone on the table, I'll be like... Yeah, yeah, you quick, quick. Just, quick. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise I'll forget everything. So you, technology serves these sorts of things. Facts. You know? Big up Elon and them, man. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Well, I look forward to the album, that's for sure. Wow. Literally. Um, what do you fear? Any Fear anything? He's a quiet killer. Yeah, sorry. Fucking, don't want to spill your vagina. I mean, Jesus, I mean, I don't mind going deep, but you want me to go submerging <laughs> into the fucking ocean hey, there. Listen, we really do see. What's going on? It's just, just the precursor. My fears. <laughs> Come on, what fears? Your fucking fears. What, what all give... over the national. Yeah, go on. What, what, gives you, what gives you the EBs? Come on. Mm, what gives me the EBs? All right, so, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right, so. um, Oh, we're going deep. Go on. Violins, guys. Okay. I've got the, this small one here. It's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> so, uh, I would say um, loneliness yeah. uh, is one of my biggest fears. I have lived a life so far mm. that feels quite lonely, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if this is the place to say it, but I'm a, I'm a touch on it, whatever. Mm. I, I mentioned before that um, I grew up with my aunt and uncle, mm. so I'm an orphan. Mm. Oh, yeah, so okay. I came into this world mm. what feels like alone, mm, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, not all of me and my siblings were, grew up in the same house. Like, oh, right. we were all separated in a sense, but we all were connected yeah. to some degree. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
so yeah I think there's some deep rooted issues there yeah. with um, loneliness abandonment neglect yeah. those kind of things of yeah. course those well, are my I, biggest I, fears I, I totally appreciate you saying that I've, some more recent family members of mine were, grew up as orphans too okay so you know it's um, yeah I, I, I can relate mm. with that to, to an extent mm. yeah it's um, what, what, what becomes of that is through what was could be described as no fault of your own, it feeds back into what you become as a personality. Yeah, and then 100. it makes you, it, it, it defines you, doesn't it? Definitely. Like some people don't understand me when I say that I'm grateful for my parents passing. Like it sounds so dark, mm. but when I break it down, it's like their death mm. taught me so much. Mm -hmm. And without that, I don't think I'd be the person I am right now. Sharpening your sword all the time. All the time, like. I see life in a way that I don't think everyone or a lot of people see it. And that's fine, mm. 100%. Everyone has their own perspectives. Everyone has their own experiences to why they have the perspectives that they have. Mm. But um, I definitely see a way of life and way of living that we should all try and tap in and tune into because yeah. it'd make it so much easier. Yeah. It's like we could actually help others mm. whilst but helping ourselves first. Mm helping yourself first and being self selfless and selfish mm. it's like finding the right balance with Ooh, those things you know what i mean talk yeah yeah like you've got to be selfish to then be selfless mm. 100 you can't it doesn't it doesn't work. work without the other it doesn't work it's like you're you're pouring from an empty cup yeah. we all know that analogy and you can't do it it's impo it's physically impossible the, the, that is a real fine line that people have trouble walking yeah, sometimes man, 100 what are you doing for yourself and what actually what are you doing for yourself to actually be able to do something for others because you can't profess that you're living a life for others and not do anything for yourself mm. because are you really helping those people if mm. you've done nothing for yourself? It's deep. Like, it's true. Are you really helping those people if you've not done any mm. internal work? Yes. Are you? Because it could just be fart then. Yeah, that's right. It's, it could just be nothingness that you're help, giving help. And the gods respond to that. The gods respond 100%, to that. 100%, 100%, 100. You've got to put into yourself to be able to give out. 100. Because we are demigods. Real talk. I we are demigods. I believe that. Um, wow, what a beautiful way to sign off. What's, <laughs> what's the future? What's the future? Yeah, I mean, we, we are really skirting around. Definitely bombaclat music. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like Instagram and what you guys have been seeing online... Uh, with my persona that is very much me it's very much who i am but the iceberg is deep baby yeah yeah yeah. i'm an onion holy players so it's like yeah that is definitely something that will always be there mm. i don't think i'll ever shut that off mm. um but i definitely want to tap into the music stuff i definitely want to tap into even getting into some acting roles that kind of vibe sick um some script work I would love to direct all of that sort of stuff. Like way down the line, I would love to get into fashion. Right now, I've got to, I've got to fill my cup with what I've got so far. You know what I mean? I've got yeah. to do all of these things, tick them off my list, hit certain goals, and then yeah, we can start focusing on the next thing. Do you know what I mean? But See? there's loads of things that I want to do. See yeah, what I'm man. saying? Well, you're getting championed here all fucking day. I appreciate girl. you, Kella. <laughs> wow and if you haven't had your cup filled by now then you've got a severe problem we've got for 500 episodes you can go and chew on but none like America Foster inside the building come on ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> killer killer podcast I like him was out of fashion thank you for joining us in America more power to you no I appreciate it my bro Honestly, get it thank Let's you. get it killer killer podcast remember crime don't pay but neither do they don't talk to anyone I wouldn't stay lucky people peace <laughs> <laughs> oh.